Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by Big4AccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, we're going to be discussing KPMG's revenue. KPMG finally released their global results. They weren't supposed to announce their results until later in 2021, but I guess they couldn't wait anymore. Now, KPMG announced revenues of $29.22 billion. And this compares to revenue of $29.75 billion in fiscal year 2019. And they are the only big four accounting firms. They're the only big four accounting firm to actually lose money in 2020. I mean, a dec- I mean, they had a decline in revenue. Now, if we compare them to other big four accounting firms, we can see they had a lot less revenue. Deloitte had revenue of $47.6 billion this year. ENY had revenue of $37.2 billion. And PwC had revenue of $43 billion. In my view, I think this just goes to show how poorly KPMG is run. They fired employees the first during COVID-19, and they keep on firing people. And this is especially true in the United States. And all it has done is decrease their revenue. KPMG is also the most regulated in the U.S. because of past scandals that they have faced. And this prevents them from experiencing the same level of growth as other accounting firms. And I think it's just important to keep in mind when you're looking at big four accounting firms. KPMG just, in my view, keeps on shooting themselves in the foot. And it only goes to show how poorly they run that they were the only big four accounting firm with a loss overall. And what are some of the highlights from the release? KPMG says that they had strong demand for regulatory-driven transformation. And that's just an extremely crazy way to say that they had a lot of work that they won from COVID-19. And regulatory-driven transformation just means they work for governments. So that's why I think the majority of that is probably related to COVID-19. And they also said they had a lot of growth in cyber and legal services. Another highlight that they announced is that they will be net zero carbon business by 2030. And we previously discussed that in a different podcast. Now let's go over some key numbers. First, we're going to talk about revenue by region. In the Americas region, KPMG earned 11.22 billion. In the Asia Pacific region, they earned 5.26 billion. And then the EMEA region, they earned 12.74 billion. They're the only big four accounting firm that does not make the majority of their money from the Americas. And I think this is just because they're a European run company and they run their Americas business very conservatively. They don't push as hard as the other big four accounting firms in earning revenue in the United States, in my opinion, and just my experience of, of KPMG. Next up, let's go by revenue by line of service. KPMG earned $11 billion from audit. They earned $6.48 billion from tax and legal, and they earned $11.67 billion from advisory. So they are primarily an advisory business at this point. They're earning less money from audit and less money from tax and legal. Now, some other random highlights that KPMG spoke about is that they are one of Fortune 100's best companies to work for. They are one of Gartner's best data and analytics service providers, which is good. That means they're providing technology services. And they're a leading AI service provider by HFS Research. And another thing of note in this release is they spoke a lot about ESG standards. And ESG standards are basically the environmental standards that are released. And the reason I wanted to speak about this is because it just goes to show how important ESG is in the global environment today. These large global companies have to get on board with ESG standards in order to get work around the world. So those are some highlights. I think the main thing overall is that 
KPMG does not appear to be in good shape globally. And since they're suffering more than the other big four accounting firms, they might do a bit more panicking and fire more people. But we'll make sure to keep you up to date on that. So make sure to subscribe to this podcast and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have a chance, like this video on YouTube. Thanks for listening.